Hi everyone. Hope everyone staying safe during this critical time. Finally, I am able to pull some time to cover all backyard veggies and fruits growing along with the beds we made using cement edges. Let's go. These are our favorite blueberries. Produced considerable amount of fruit for the first year itself to encourage growing them further. This side uh, we begin the garden with tomatoes. The first one is a husky cherry red tomato along with uh, other indeterminate tomato plants grown from seed. You can see this cherry red tomato plant loaded with uh, fruits and flowers. These are unique looking, uh, light in color and uh, showing veins on top of the fruit. So if you ever grow this uh, variety before, you can easily identify that. Do you see these small seedlings growing all over? These are coriander seedlings. I will let you know uh, how I made these growing everywhere in the garden in a minute. These uh, beds not only looking beautiful, it is making my life easy to manage the plants, watering them and so on. So the next bed has one sunflower plant growing along with a couple of chili de arbol, pepper plants, sorrel uh, plants, couple of bush beans and uh, one papaya that, that is surprise and uh, some carrot seedlings emerged a week ago. I know these uh, uh, are not well performed in summer but I just uh, try to grow them in the summer and to see their performance. Following that bed we have uh, two better boy tomatoes growing. In the middle we have one more small papaya. These both papayas are uh, of same age. I have sowed uh, both uh, seeds together but look at the size difference. And one Thai hot peppers. We used to have that growing in the container and taro root. Let's talk about these papayas a little bit. I have started these uh, from seeds last year. From the seeds collected from store bought papaya fruit. Uh, when I cut the fruit I pick the healthy um, seeds and sun dry them when they fully dried sow them to have brand new plants. I have noticed 100% germination but many died during replanting that was maybe uh, plants were small and it was winter time. I have got two survived and was not growing much during winter as, as is but these started thriving from uh, let's say May month when uh, start, uh, day started getting warmer. Usually these start producing fruits between 8 months to 1 year but these plants are still growing uh, from last 10 months. So these are not producing fruit uh, in usual time. I am watering them twice a day because uh, they like to be wet during hot days. So hopefully by next summer they produce some fruit. If we move on, we have uh, two ridge cord plants growing surrounded with uh, coriander seedlings again. So red leaf plants growing uh, in a big container and one tomato plant. We used to have three here and we have harvested a lot of tomatoes as you've seen. I removed two completely and left one uh, with healthy branch. This bed has green onions, phoenix tomato and some uh, jalapeno peppers uh, replanted recently, you hardly see them. These beds has kale, celery, anaham chilies and calendula growing. I have covered these two beds in my previous video.
This corner is for rosemary, my favorite herb, following with perennial bed. Chili de arbol again and one marigold. Small plants you see here are eggplants recently replanted. Look at these dried uh, coriander plants. I have pulled them and dried them. Now using all those coriander uh, to just uh, spread in the bed. So when I am watering the plants, these are easily getting germinated and I am going to have lot of coriander. Chili de arbol again and uh, crazy eggplant. Look at the size and uh, healthy big leaves with uh, lot of flowers. We have one eggplant uh, in this plant available right now. Following this eggplant, we have a uh, few more bush beans and sorrel leaf plants growing. This bed has interesting vegetable which is snake gourd. They are going, uh, they are growing healthy and spreading in trellis. With a uh, few more tomatoes, some green onions and uh, zinnia. This is peaches which we covered in previous videos, now concentrating on uh, growing fruits big. This is a moringa tree. We have a couple of them growing in our backyard. These are started from seed last year. These are again slow in winter and thrive in summer time. This bed has okra and sorrel leaves growing. So here we have uh, fruit trees growing, ultra cherry dwarf variety and couple of blackberries, strawberries in the containers and raspberry. These containers have some seedlings uh, sowed and uh, growing. Blackberry is growing vigorously uh, without any shape, I am soon go going to prune this. This bed has tomatoes, bush beans and sunflower growing. Rolipol is uh, damaging beans plants and it is also damaging okra and sorrel leaves uh, seedlings. I am going to treat them. Another bed with tomatoes, zucchini, okra and sunflowers. Sunflowers grew more than 10 feet with solid trunk, started showing up the flowers recently. Okra are not healthy because they are replanted. They never like to be replanted, but due to bedding I had to replant them. So never do that mistake. So these are zucchini, the one uh, big plant started producing, we have one is ready to harvest. This has okra again. You can see them healthy because uh, they grew from seed and uh, these are not replanted. We have green gram and potatoes growing as well together. This bed has okra, some uh, cucumbers and uh, bitter gourd. These are not uh, the regular cucumbers green in color. These are uh, round in shape and yellow orange color with hard skin. We can eat them raw but uh, these are good when we cook them. We started producing, you can see the baby cucumbers. Pitagore plants growing on trellis. A cherry red tomato and indeterminate tomato following with uh, moringa again. Every part of this tree is edible like leaves, flowers, pots. Pots are the tasty ever vegetable in my opinion. I can't wait for this plant to grow and produce pots. Moringa is considered as medicinal with its leaves. People use moringa leaf powder for several uses.
and these are taro root taro root found affected with the hot weather but overall it's going fine because i'm carefully watering them few more tomatoes some are uh, indeterminate tomatoes I, I bought from store and some are volunteer plants this is a cherry tree i have three replanted here because this place is uh, shading in the winter so when these uh, cherry trees grow big uh, it won't be any problem because in winter we cannot use this place uh, for vegetables wow that's a lot of fruits and veggies right hope you enjoy the tour please comment your feedback like and subscribe uh, to follow updates on these plants growing thank you for watching i'll see you in next video